What up, folks? I am UltraZilla, and uh, this is a little bit of an Ultra Z. No, it's not. It's not an Ultra Z news at all. This is. <laughs> I got used to doing uh, StreamYard for Ultra Z news, uh, where I mean, I started with uh, all Ultra Zilla Live, and that's uh, what I'm doing today. A lazy Ultra Zilla Live. Just want to relax, open a bunch of toys, talk a little bit about. All the different news, movies, and um, toy news to come out lately, you know. So, uh, as you saw, or you might have seen, I did an Ultra Z News Live this morning when uh, I didn't even have my first cup of coffee. This is my second. So, this is basically a own cafe with Ultra Zilla, like I did earlier this week. That got messed up, and I had to redo it over. Um, but... You know, I didn't get a real good chance to uh, talk then because I got cut off in the middle of it. Um, you know, hopefully everything runs better here now. And I'm talking on another screen. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I got in a bunch of stuff again. Like, you know, what's funny is I did a bunch of different hauls this week because I first didn't realize I was going to be getting some of the stuff I did. Um, now, the stuff I got here is I picked up my stuff from uh, Muteki Sales this week, and um, that was unexpected originally. Like, I knew I had to go soon, but we were, I was waiting on the uh, Dyna Action EVA 01 to come in, and that was the final piece that I needed to get from them before... Like my next set of orders, which is not till June, I think, with them. Now, I have a lot of orders, pre orders that are going to drop uh, between then. But as far as stuff I pick up from them, because they're local to me, um, and you can check out their shop, and the link is down below. Great, great folks. Highly recommend them. Um, you know, like that they were a Cyber Kaiju uh, sponsor, also the first one. And anyway, um, I was waiting for Eva 01 to come in, and on Fortunately, um, there was a problem with their order at Bluefin. Uh, so um, I didn't get my EVA 01 from them, unfortunately, because um, they didn't get it. Uh, and that was a bit unfortunate, you know, and kind of messed up on Bluefin's part. Um, the um, I'm not going to get into, uh, you know, what happened because of this, but there was ramifications um, at Bluefin because of it and uh, because it wasn't just one order. Um, anywho, I ended up getting my Dyna Action EVA 01 on Amazon. Um, I ordered it on Friday and it came yesterday, uh, last night, and you might have seen the picture of me on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, or even Twitter, uh, like holding up this like ridiculously big box. Uh, <laughs> so I got it anyway, you know, like because it was one of those things that I really wanted. And, you know, I felt like if I didn't get it, um, uh, it was it was going to really bother me. And I checked into uh, to see how much it would be shipping it from Japan. And it was ridiculous. The shipping was more than the item. Uh, and the item is already really expensive, so I couldn't go that route. And uh, so Amazon had it, you know, uh, they don't have it, uh, they have it through a third party now, but um, it's still the normal price for now. So jump on it because I know Bluefin, if you want it, it is pricey. If you want it, jump on it as soon as you can, wherever you see it, because uh, the stock that came in from overseas to Bluefin, it was actually allocated really heavily. So it is what it is. Now, I also, how's everybody doing out there? I only see a couple of comments so far and not that many viewers. It is a weird Sunday afternoon time, but I just wanted to do this now because um, it's hard for me to schedule a, a later one at, at, you know, sometimes. So it was more like, Okay, I got the little window right now to, to be able to do this, and I was either going to record or um, just go, like, right, you know, live and uh, be able to interact with you guys. So, anyone want to interact, let me know. 
There was Ultra Z news that went up this morning uh, about the movie Monster series, Singular Point figures. Feel free to continue talking about that as well. So, you know, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it's uh, it's one of those things where I had the time. I was going to do it. I was going to drink some coffee and I would figure I'd open some toys because I do want to look at some of this stuff like more than others. So I'm not going to be opening up every last thing here, but there's a few things I want to do. Two things came in today. Actually, one thing came in today and another thing came in yesterday, but I didn't open it till today. I didn't open the package because they were, they went together. And, um, what I got was the, uh, Hasbro Zoids, uh, Alpha Shadow. This one came in today. And, uh, Trike. So this is the Wolf Zoid. And uh, the Triceratops Zoid. Uh, both look awesome. These packages are fantastic. Really, really, really nice looking. Um, so I really dig this. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting the packages to look quite like this. And they look cool. These I'm not going to open because they're in pieces and there's no point. Um, so I, I will be doing speed builds, uh, and reviews of these separate from each other because these are the bigger Zoids. So it's not like those little mini ones where I can really put them together. I can put them together, but I'd rather not. I do like speed builds on their own sometimes. Beautiful though. Beautiful boxes. I got those. The rest is all Tamashi stuff, you know, so... Uh, very, uh, cool alt iron kaiju. Let us know what you got. What's up, Gary? What's up, Chainsaw Gigan fan? Um, so thanks for, for joining me again. It, it's, it's a lazy Sunday. I don't expect much. Uh, I'll interact with the rest of you guys in the comments if you'd like. Um, you know, I always do. <sighs> Try not to talk too fast, too. I, I notice, like during these live streams, or even when I do record um, Ultra Z News, sometimes I'm like trying to talk too fast and I get winded. <laughs> so this thing I didn't put up in the thumbnail. Uh, this is Ultraman Ace, and I have this already. And uh, I they gave me Muteki sales. So everything else, well, no, except for Eva, is Muteki sales. Oh, when we get to it, I'll talk about it. Um, I guess this was uh, one that one of them opened or was a return uh, because the uh, chest peg is broken on this one. I already have this. I already reviewed it. Uh, but he was just like, here, you know, if you want it for the extra parts, whatever you want to do with it, we have no use for it. You know, so uh, they just threw it into my pile of stuff. Um for free, uh, and I'm actually going to, you know, send this over to my pal Scorpio Cesar uh, because he was actually looking for this guy, and he's going to try to fix it. So, hey, they they send some, they give me something, I give it away as well. So, um, you know, Scorp, this is for you. Uh, I just want to show that because uh, I, I want to thank Muteki for that as well. Um, that's cool of them uh, to just hand that over. And I will hand it over as well. Just pass it around. <laughs> because why not? Um, so this guy, this is an old figure. And I actually am curious about this. Uh, this is a really bad glare, isn't there? Um, I don't know which light that this glare is coming from. Is it this or is it just my computer? Um, so this is Wind Spectre R Fire from the old Toku, uh, Tukasatu, like... Uh, Metal Hero series, um, and I started looking for some of these guys when I after I did the review for uh, Metalder. I was looking for uh, a bunch of these guys, and HLJ actually had this guy on sale, um, and then I noticed that Muteki had him in stock, uh, but he wasn't on sale. So I actually asked them, "Hey guys, can you like?" you know, match the price. Maybe. And because they know me so well, um, and I had to pick up stuff anyway, they did. And I, I do appreciate that. Um, guys, that, that was very, very cool of you. You didn't have to do that and you did. And I'd rather give you guys the money than, um, you know, a bigger company like HLJ, but I do want to look at this. It's a cool figure. Give it a quick look before putting it back in the box, because I'm not going to be reviewing this anytime soon. It's probably just going to go 
in my backlog behind me just because it's it's an old figure and I do want to review it at some point but it's not a pry already but it does look really nice check this dude out you guys know this uh this series at all anybody knows the series let me know looks cool this is like the older style uh, figure arts. You can see like the older style packaging. It's a little bit smaller. Looks really nice. I do like it. I do like it. Now, Wind Spectre wasn't one of those metal heroes that I, I really knew much about. There's like, like three of them, I believe, in the series. Um, so, and I think the other two came together in a set. Uh, which is very expensive, so I probably won't get that. He's just like, you know, just a cool figure to have. He'll just hang out with um, with Metalder, I guess, you know. Start a little, I don't know where I'm starting another shelf. <laughs> a little Metal Heroes type of deal. Maybe they'll just hang out with the Power Rangers, honestly. That would be kind of cool, but yeah, this guy is cool looking. I do like him. So, uh, like I said in the thing, feel free to ask about anything you want. Um, talk about movies, shows, things that are upcoming. Lots of cool stuff. I'm not doing a, a weekend update for the Ultra Z News this weekend. Um, after I did that one this morning, I decided I'm not going to do a weekend update right now. Um, I might like include some news and some, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe I will do a weekend update. Um, we shall see. But if you want to talk about any of the other toy news that's been popping up the last few days, feel free. If not, then maybe I will do one. I don't know yet. I got to do a bunch of things. I got to still record my February um, sub of the month as well as like, you know, I'm doing a sub of the month with um, like my top 10 comments of the month. So I got to record that today. And possibly another review, but I'm probably not gonna. I might not launch that till. No, I might launch that later because I don't know what I'm launching later. Uh, we gotta see. Alt Iron Kaiju. You got a couple of Kongs. No, which two? Which Kongs? Let me know. Um, some Super TMNT, Super Seven TMNT, excellent, and Thundercats. A bunch of MMPR original lineup. Star Wars Black Series. And the Godzilla humidifier. Man, that's quite a haul, my friend. Very, very cool. What up, Kaiju Live? What up, man? Uh, I'm going to assume it's AJ. What's up, man? Um, very cool of you to join us. Uh, I'm looking forward to that werewolf, uh, the American werewolf, uh, uh, American werewolf in London werewolf that NECA showed off. That is awesome. I know we were talking about it uh AJ in our little side chat with like Beto and stuff. So and that's a, uh, that's a cool, cool, cool piece. So this is what I'm not going to open right now. This is uh, the Ultraman G primitive new generation edition. Now this one is another figure that I have reviewed. Um, however, it's a little bit different this time. It has uh, an extra head and the colors are slightly like less, like more saturated than before. So I'm not like in a huge rush to get to this one. And I don't even feel like opening it quite yet. There's, <laughs> there's like, I I'm not even sure why I even like got it to tell you the truth. Like it was one of those things where I was like, you know what? I might as well check it out for the channel, but I think between this and the first release, um, I'm going to end up probably putting one on eBay or using one for one of these giveaways coming up this year. Um, I don't know yet. You know, whatever I do, I do with it. But uh, I'm only going to keep one of them. I, I don't need two Ultraman G primitives. But um, yeah, I will review this. But this is definitely going to be one. And here, you can see it right now. That's just going to go in my. Oh, wait. This is the figure watch backlog up here. There you go. <laughs> That's going to go straight in my backlog because I just don't feel like uh, getting to it like right away. Very cool, AJ. Yeah, man, that that werewolf looks awesome. Um, 
Uh, the Chainsaw needs the FYE exclusive Godzilla vs. Kong Pop. I believe that's sold out the pre-order right now, right? You're probably going to be able to find it in store, or there might be more that pops up later, I'm going to assume. Uh, but I know, I, I'm pretty sure for now the the pre-order is, uh, the pre-order is sold out right now. So, I am going to open this guy right now, because I am curious to see how it looks. I want to get my first look in this. This is the Ultraman Z Alpha Edge SH Figure Arts. So, yeah, I mean, you're probably saying, well, like, hasn't all this stuff come out already? Yeah, but, you know, um, how it is. Bluefin is a month to two months behind the Japanese orders. Um, so it's one of those things where if I get stuff through Bluefin, it's going to be behind. Um, you might ask why a reviewer might do that. Well, you know, we're all not made of money, right? So, like, I can't, like... <laughs> I, I have to pick and choose my battles of what I want to import and what I want to get through here because um, I have a very good relationship with, uh, like, the guys at Muteki Sale, so I get a little bit of a break, and uh, that actually helps. Whatever helps, and... Obviously, no shipping because I go to pick it up um, from their warehouse, which isn't that far away from me. Um, so, yeah, it's one of those things where, you know, a lot of this stuff I get through them. And then I do get a lot of stuff from Japan, too. Uh, but it's, you know, you got to pick and choose your battles, right? So it is what it is. Like, I'll say this, uh, GVK. Uh, SH Monster Arts, I am getting through HLJ, so I will have that as soon as possible. So, you know, stay tuned for the reviews whenever they come. And all, like, all, like, the Bandai vinyl stuff, I get straight from Japan because, uh, you know, Bluefin doesn't carry that stuff. So, this guy looks really nice. He's very basic, but, like, really nice looking. And this one I do want to review soon. Wow, I'm really, really nice looking. Oh, he's going to be hard to see because he's got a lot of silver and the, the glare. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this dude, but he's really, really, really cool. I like it, guys. I do like this. So, yeah, very nice. The uh, figure arts I am looking forward to from Ultraman is Tiga, um, which is going to be like a, a special figure arts. And they are Sinkeho, Seho line. Sink, I can't even say it. But they're more specialized line. So, yeah, this guy to be reviewed very soon, hopefully. Uh, I will put it in the review pile, immediate review pile for stuff. But I got a lot to review. And like this week, you might have noticed the reviews were less. I did get a bunch of videos out this week, but, you know, I had to add in, you know, it was like with the news and uh, I added in on organizing Ultrazilla toys at the last minute because uh, I just needed the content and I needed to, to clean a little bit. So that's why organizing is really good because it's a very easy one to record for me. And uh, I, I just have to put together the clips instead of like actual, like real editing. And then like, I just pop it up, uh, which is always a good thing. Um, so I like doing that and it helps a little bit get organized here because this place is a wreck. Am I still out there? <laughs> uh, I finally picked up my Gundam universe series four figures, which were only two figures this time. Uh, this was Gundam, and this is Tall Geese. We'll look at that one first. The other one is Burning Gundam. So I can have him fighting against Burning Godzilla. No, I can't. But, you know, I can. They actually scale well together. This line is great. This guy line is really, really cool. If you like Gundam at all, if you like giant robots to, to fight... Like your, you know, Godzilla's and stuff. This is a good line to get. This is very awesome. Wow, this thing looks amazing. Holy. So, I actually just finished my final wave three 
uh, Gundam Universe figure. That was the Easy Eight Gundam, and that review will go up tomorrow night um, because it's not a lot. It's not on uh, on YouTube quite yet. This stuff I got to put on him, like his like side things and stuff. But this looks really really nice. He has a beautiful shield and stuff. Mickey, what's up, man? You love that Ultraman Z. It's really nice. Uh, are you gonna pre-order the uh, what's his name? Ultraman G Galaxy Rising to get the staff. I mean, and to to get Ultraman G Galaxy Rising, which is awesome. I think I'm gonna be getting that as well. But this looks beautiful. This is a really nice looking Gundam. Holy, there's a lot of nice stuff in here. The shield looks great. Like, oh, okay, hand fell out. Oh. oh well that's gonna be hard to do but it looks really good really nice try to get these out quicker because i think the next wave is dropping soon and uh, as well but it won't be dropping soon here uh unfortunately so i'll have to wait what's up amir what's up toku texas how you guys doing yeah i i think um mickey i think the price on Galaxy Rising, if I remember correctly, is about 70 75 bucks. It's a little pricey. Let's take a look at Burning Gundam. You know, it's when I when I do open these up for a second, put them back, it just gives me like a little like I got to be um, my first fan here. Like, I got to be, like, a fan as a collector first. I got to make a connection to the figure. Um, and that helps me. It helps me, like, like get to these quicker sometimes, if that makes any sense. But I do have to, like, I don't know if it's going to be in March or April. I got to see what's coming out. But I do have to go on a no in-stock purchases, like, break once again. I did it in January, and that worked out well. So I'm going to do that again in the next couple of months. Um, there's a lot of GVK stuff to drop, so it's going to be really hard, and that stuff I have to get. This guy looks really, really cool. Beautiful colors. Yellow really pops. And you got the burning Gundam hand. You got really nice back wings here. Very nice looking. Wow. This is excellent. This burning hand is in there. If you want to see what they size, I have a how they size. This is a the Playmates Godzilla, but it's a six inch figure, so it's about the same size as other six inch Godzilla fingers figures, and they size perfectly. So if you want to do a Gundam versus Godzilla, um, Gundam U Universe is great. I mean, regular price on these is twenty five bucks, guys. Like <laughs> giant robots to fight your kaiju for twenty five bucks. Um, yeah, th this is awesome. I'm actually going to keep this guy out. I, I like him a way more than I, I figured that I would. Wow, that's really, really nice looking. That's, that's awesome. So yeah, that, that's, oh, you know what? We could, I'm going to size him right away with Godzilla here. SH Monster Arts Godzilla Heat Ray version 2001. Uh, let's see. I haven't put up anybody's stuff here yet, so... Let's see what Toku Texas has to say. I recently bought the Ultraman Taro Blu-ray set, waiting for April for Leo to complete the diorama. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot that they all, those all got together. The only one of those sets I got was Ace, and I won it. Um, yeah, I haven't gotten any. I, I don't know why. I just... I don't know. <laughs> uh, I love Ultraman, but for some reason, I just haven't gone for the sets. Even when they were like on Super Sale, uh, I just didn't didn't do it it's really it's really weird gary says i just got the easy eight recently and customized the beam sabers to a metallic blue to match the colors and it really came out cool oh, excellent that's awesome that's really cool so this godzilla uh and this 
this Godzilla. I got because I really liked the first one. I usually haven't gotten to, yeah, that's not true. There's a few repaints that I haven't gotten, but not you know, I've gotten most of them. Um and I didn't get, if you guys are wondering, I'm not getting the Biolanti repaint. Uh, I already have Biolanti, and it was just one of those that I was just, you know, even with a little bit of a discount, it was still going to come out to way more than I want to spend on something I already have. And I didn't deem the repaint as something fun or necessary. Like it, I think the new Biolanti is great for anybody that missed out the first time. For someone that already had it, I just didn't see it, you know. And I've seen the comparison picks, and I still don't, still don't see like it's not warranted to have a second one, uh, even even for a review. Like guys, I just I just didn't want to spend the money. Like I want, I'd rather put my money into other stuff that are coming out, and there's a lot coming out. So um, yeah, I'd rather do that. So here's Godzilla, but I love this Godzilla. I love uh, the Monster Arts version of this. Um, I loved it, and I really wanted to get. I think this paint scheme is looking really good. It's darker, and uh, I like how the dorsal fins are done, and I like the mouth a lot, and the eyes look amazing. Not bad. I mean, I don't have the greatest lighting, right? Oh, I, I have okay lighting, but like here, uh, but at my review desk, I'll be able to see this guy better. Um, but it's looking pretty good, guys. You know, is it warranted getting again? I don't know. But that looks really, really nice. And I think the mouth looks pretty good. It's kind of like glittery almost. Yeah, that's not bad. That is not bad. So yeah, I guess uh, I guess I'm happy I got this. And once again, let's bring in the Burning Gundam for you guys that I'm trying to convince to buy this for some reason. Um, I don't know because like I it, this is my thing. Like growing up, I loved kaiju and I loved giant robots. Uh, and you know, I more than anything. And I didn't know Ultraman back then. Uh, the closest thing to Ultraman I knew was Jet Jaguar, you know, um, just wasn't playing in New York at the time, like when I was growing up. So, yeah, they size great and they should because they're from the same company. Um, so if you, you know, ever want to do face offs, there you have it. This is a great line to get. Cheap. Awesome. They, they size great. Way better than the Robot Spirits, the Robot Spirits line of, uh, oh, here. Okay, I'm going to show you right now. This is a Robot Spirits RX-78 Gundam, and this is a uh, Gundam Universe RX-78 Gundam. So there you go. What did I, hold on, hold on, this is a good question. Love Kaiju and Robots, what did I, you think of the of Pacific Rim? It is one of my all-time favorite movies. And if you go back, you know, uh, into my channel a little bit and check out, or just go to my playlist, check out my Pacific Rim. I've pretty, I've reviewed a ton of Pacific Rim toys on this channel. Unfortunately, not a ton of the, like, NECA stuff. I have reviewed a bunch of it. But when I got... Back, got into collecting that line was on got back into collecting i should say that line was like ongoing and uh it was a little while before i i started reviewing some of those toys but like everything from uprising was reviewed on this on the channel from like almost from every company um so yes pacific rim is high on my list and i gotta say i am more looking forward to pacific rim the black than I am uh, Godzilla Singular Point. And I've been like hoping and praying somebody does uh, Pacific Rim the Black toys. Like, give me movie monster series toys like you gave me the Shin Godzilla, Shin uh, Ultraman, Ultraman. I'll take I'll take Jaegers as vinyls. I don't care. Make them cheap. That'd be awesome. Um, whatever, you know, 
you know, whatever it is, like I would do it. Like, you know, yeah. Uh, Pacific Rim is incredible. Uh, I hope they, they do too. I don't mind re-releases, you know. Um, I, I really don't. Like whether it's like something, um, you know, repainted or just straight up re-released. Whatever it is, you know, people deserve to get stuff. If it's if there's a demand for it, people deserve to get what they want without having to pay a ridiculous price in the aftermarket. Not everybody wants to hear that, but that's how I feel. All right, so save the best and biggest for last year, Dyna Action Eva 01. Look at the thickness of this box. Look how big this box is. That's insane. And it's a window box. I haven't shown that with a magnet. There's a giant glare, and I'm sorry for my computer, but we're going to take this guy out. Lady. <laughs> oh. Knocking trays all over the place here. All right. Now, my actual box got a little beat up, which is unfortunate. But I don't mind that. You know, the box itself doesn't mean that much to me. Okay, so there's... Oh my god, this is massive. This is so big, guys. All right, so there's a whole tray here with a giant, super huge base. Let's see. Glib Glob 87, where can I pre-order the singular point figures when, when they arrive for sale in the U.S.? I have no idea. Um, BBTS usually has movie monster series stuff. Um, for sure, they, they usually get stuff in, um, but as far as other places in the U.S., you're going to have to check, like, Facebook groups. Kaiju Live, are you still with us? So you gonna, you gonna, do you get the Monster Series stuff, movie Monster Series stuff? Let us know. Um, uh, but, I mean, as far as pre-ordering from Japan, Amazon Japan has them up right now, but the shipping is ridiculous, and I would not recommend it. I'm sure they are on, uh, okay, Kaiju Live is looking into it. Uh, I'm sure they are, if they're not already, I haven't looked into this, they're on the Godzilla store, uh, which is, you know, Japanese, so you're going to have to look up the address. I don't have it handy. And But you're going to have to get that through, like, a proxy service, like Zen Market or Bai, um, which you can do. It's easy. I, that's how I'm getting my Kong figure. Uh, Kong movie monster series figure I ordered from the Godzilla store because everybody else didn't have it up yet. So I just, I, I want to get it away. And I, I think I'm going to do the same with the Goji Band figures because they're just not going up anywhere except for Hobby Search. And they sold out before I even saw it. So I don't know what's going on with some of these pre-orders. All right. I got to do this on the floor here because I don't want to lose any, anything, any, anything. Oh, boy. Oh, man, it's heavy. It should be heavy. This thing looks awesome. Now, it's funny because it's super skinny compared to the, the giant box, but there's a lot going on in here. Oh, and you feel the metal all around. The back is all metal. The feet are metal. All right. Okay, no ratchet joints there. Looks really nice. Trying to be careful here. I don't know how everything moves quite yet. Oh my god, the knees are metal. Completely metal. So the joints are all metal. And the bottom. Oh my god. This isn't... Whoa! Whoa! My God, there's so many joints in the in the, the chest. 
this looks in this feels so interesting and awesome. Well, there's the paper here, but I'm gonna have to pull that out after. Is the mouth open? The mouth does open. Wow. I'm so glad I got this, guys. Um, like, I was so bummed uh, when Muteki told me about what happened to the Bluefin order uh, with this. So I am really happy that I was able to get it because Bluefin says they're, they're actually out at the distributor level. So whatever is out there, as far as U.S. stores, is out there already. So at least for now, I don't know if there's going to be a second shipment, but they did say heavily allocated. And sometimes when they say that there's not another one. And again, uh, the, you know, I looked at it at hobby search was, which was the only spot that still had it in stock. And the shipping was like 200 bucks for this, but that box is huge. So you could like imagine, Oh my God, this is amazing. It is so heavy. Um, I was scared this was going to be like the that grid man that I reviewed last year and the big grid man from Good Smile Company, which ended up being a big bust. This is definitely not that. This is amazing. And they were about the same price. I can't believe the price of this was, you know, man, this is awesome. As far as the Japanese price goes. This is uh, this retails here in the states for 190. By the way, so that's why I was saying like I was bummed because you know my little bit of a discount would have really helped. Um, but this is awesome. This is super incredible. Yeah. Okay. So I am a very happy man. This is really why I did this. I wanted to. I wanted to record my first opening of this thing. Everything else, I was just like, yeah, they're awesome and stuff. But, you know, when you get something like this and you're a big fan, uh, like, I'm a huge fan. Now, this is funny. I'm a huge fan of EVA 01, the robot. Like, like the, the series is great. <laughs> but I wouldn't call myself a huge fan of the series. I'm a huge fan of this robot design. Uh, and I've always have been, and that's why I have a collection of Eva O ones because I and really nothing else. My only other uh, Evangelion anything is this robot spirits, uh, and I bought it because I had a uh, uh, I won a credit uh, a fifty dollar credit at uh, HLJ last year, and I, and I decided to get you know what better way to try something else from Evangelion than. Uh, for almost free, <laughs> right? Uh, not really almost free. Ship there was shipping involved and stuff, but you know, yeah, fifty dollar credit helped. Um, but yeah, I, I'm mostly in it for Evo One because I just love this design, and this is like incredible. Um, and now the other incredible one that's going to come out this year is the three zero one. Um, now I had canceled that pre order because I decided I was like, you know what, I'm going to go with this. And then in recent days, when I discovered that I might not be getting this, uh, I went back and put in my pre-order because they added in more pre-order slots, of, you know, for that. And BBTS had some uh, for June for the 301, which is going to be smaller than this one, but 30's quality is. Um, so I, I think I'm going to hold on to that one because that's 125, and that's a, and it's smaller than this. That's 12 inch. This is 16 inch. Um, so it's a bit different. But man. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. If you, this is, might be the ultimate Evo one, and I'm not sure how that other one is going to stack up to this, but this might be it. This might be it as far as like our articulated figure goes. Okay, guys. Um, that's, that's, it. that's everything that I'm going to be opening here. Uh, hope you dug it. Thanks for joining me on a live stream that didn't get cut off this time. That's another reason why I decided to do this because my, you know, the one during the week got cut off. Um, so anybody that's joined me today, I, I really do appreciate your company. It's always fun to interact a little bit. I need to get back into um, doing some more of these ultras of lives with guests. Um, yeah, boy, what's up? Dyna action. Awesome.
She's awesome. Love it. Uh, I, you know, like I need to get back into doing that. I gotta get it back into rotation. Ever since the start of the year, these lives have been like few and far between, uh, more than they were as we closed out the year. But that's because I've, I think I've, because I started the Ultra Z News. Um, that's been more of a thing. And it's just like just time, you know, especially when it's come to like uh, being able to do something with somebody else. It's just I haven't had the time to even schedule something. So there's one of those things where it's kind of fallen a little bit, but I'm going to keep going, you know, with the Ultra Z. Uh, I keep saying Ultra Z, see? Um, with the Ultra Zilla Lives. And, uh, you know, today was one of them. Except, you know, this one was just a a whole of the week type of deal. But because I had so many different ones this week, I didn't call it the whole of the week. I just called it whatever. I, Ultra Zilla Live. What hole? <laughs> and you guys. So thanks for joining me. Um, I don't even know where to put this. I, I don't know how it's going to stand yet. I'm scared. I'm going to have to put it down somewhere. All right, hold on. i got to move some stuff. Okay. Relax. There's all the Chogo Ken behind there with it. Um, so thanks for joining me. Uh, I will have one more video up today. Um, I believe later on, I got to work on it still, but I got to do the February, like I was saying earlier, the February sub of the month. If you don't know what that is, please check out that video later because you do. It's my giveaways for the year. Uh, which will also contain the top 10, my top 10 favorite comments of the month of January, uh, February. So uh, Gary here, who's joined us, Gary was the January um, sub of the month. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing that every month, guys. So tune in, I believe later. And I'm, I don't think I'm doing a weekend update for the Ultra Z News. I think that's going to be the only video I work on for today because I do want to and do some reviews if I have the, the chance. It's, it's already 6 o'clock. Um, so I don't know, but we'll see how it goes. If I don't do an Ultra Z News, please check out my Facebook page if you haven't, because that's where I put up news first anyway, usually. And if it's really breaking and important, like this morning, I don't know. Eh, not, is any of this stuff important? You know, I will uh, make a video if I'm in the studio or I can run down to the studio right away. So there you go, guys. Thanks so much for being part of what, 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 Adrian, what, uh, if I didn't grab this, you know, special color by Lanthia would have grabbed that either. I understand, you know, you can't do it, uh, both, but having the original by and this major, major difference, uh, but by is amazing. And anyone that doesn't have it should go get it for sure. Maybe I'll review my, uh, my old one. I have never reviewed that. That'd be cool. Till next time, peace out, peeps.